But look again, Samus has balls. Even if I was a bounty hunter, if I saw this thing, I'd be like, okay, screw Talon 4, I'm leaving. Morphology, Farnes! An animated sentient creature of stone charged with Phazon Radi-Fucking-Ation! The Phazon Radiation given off by Thardis negates auto-targeting systems, so you can't lock on to the bitch. Preventing lock-on, that's what I just said. It may be possible to acquire alternate targets with a different visor. The chaotic nature of Phazon irradi Irradiation leads to instability in its structural integrity. Whatever that means! Thardis can be encased- Can be- no. Thardis can encase targets in ice and- Okay, uh, from there on just talks about what it can do. But what's the point wasting time reading what it can do? And then, sort of getting an example of that. Oh, he's got Morph Ball too. That's cheap. Ow, oh, he hit me with his Morph Ball. <laughs> but anyway, the only thing I don't like about this fight, you're going to be spending about half of it, maybe a little bit more, in Thermal Visor. And the only way you can dash to the side is if you're in Thermal Visor mode, because you'll have nothing to lock onto if you're looking at him normally. But when the Thermal Visor overloads, Go to no regular combat visor, and the part that you were shooting in thermal visor will turn blue. And it's rinse and repeat. Once that part explodes like this, dude, not like that, like this, then your thermal visor will come back to normal, and then another joint in his body will be sort of yours to hurt. So it's sort of rinse and repeat. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love this boss. He's epic. He's got an amazing design. I like his music too. I think his music is actually pretty good. But yeah, that's pretty much how it's gonna be. Oh. It's yeah, like I said, rinse and repeat. Once you destroy all of his joints, uh, that was really dumb. Then that's how the fight ends. You just destroy all of his joints, and I'm not completing my thoughts because this guy can actually be a little bit uh, troubling if you're not paying attention. And unfortunately, I'm not um, as good at let's playing as. Ugh. Excuse me. As some other people are, so I'm not really too good at dividing my attention amongst Let's Playing and amongst my commentary and amongst the game. But enough about how much I suck at Let's Playing. Oops. There's really not much to talk about. I will say that on hard mode, this guy is. He takes way longer than he needs to be. And it, with a boss as tedious as he is, uh. That's not a good thing. Thank you. I was wondering when is his when is his right hand going to disappear? His right hand is too powerful. He's been using it too much on his rock hardness. <laughs> oh, damn it, I'm a pervert! Stop it, Daniel! Stop it! To the left. Well, I'm actually really um sad that my uh, actual episode for this fight sort of got lost, not lost, but sort of got corrupted up, corrupted up, corrupted up, because I actually really liked that episode, I was really proud of it, I loved the commentary that I had for it, and it's like, ah, oh my god, I'm such a hypocrite, I just got done uh, telling uh, the punny guy that he shouldn't worry about his commentary, and here I am, oh my god, I loved my commentary, but, oh well, I'll just have to make my commentary better! Oh wait, this is interesting. Okay, Thermal Visor, he's just sitting there doing nothing, having spasms. But no, he's actually doing this epicness. I don't know if you'll get hurt if you step up to him. Oh wait, no, wait. Damn it, I want to see if that would hurt me. But as you can see, when he gets around the halfway point of his health, he'll throw up this mist, which I don't understand because when you get him to one-fourth of his health, he puts the mist back. It would actually be interesting if he kept the mist the whole time, but I digress. Thermal Visor, can't do shit. Now, it'd be it would actually uh, a little bit interesting if the mist was, like, if there was temperature to this mist. So, like, because that phase on radiation spot is radiating heat. That's why it shows red in the thermal visor. It'd be interesting if this mist or fog that he's throwing up also has, like, hot temperature to it. This way you can't see his uh, blind spot unless you get really close to him. That would actually add a lot of suspense in my opinion. But, oh well, I digress. Shoot him in the leg! Oh no, now he's at the halfway point. Shoot his shoulder, because for some reason we all know that shooting someone in the shoulder is going to be a surefire way to kill someone. But I should stop uh, comparing Thardis to a human. This guy is not a human. 
Luckily, I got another chance to record at home. Oops! For a minute, I thought you hit me. Luckily, I got another chance to record by myself, so I'm very happy about that. I can be myself! Uh, my, my mom went out to church because uh, today is Easter Sunday. And I forget where my dad and my sister went. Oh, they, my, my dad and my sister, they went to Walmart. Oop, no! My sister is. Oh. My sister is actually going out and she's buying uh, Mario Party 9 right now as I as uh, as of this recording. And today is Sunday, March something? Uh, something or other? I don't know, I forget. No, no, not, not March. That's, like, that's a month ago. This is April, fool. I get it. April fools. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm sorry, my puns are horrible. Yeah, man, I'm sorry I'm running out of commentary. This guy takes forever. It's fun. It's it's fun to play, not so fun to watch, um, unfortunately. Speaking of fun to watch, um, my next Let's Play, whenever I do it, because I'm pretty sure I'll save it until after this one's over, I decided. Oh. So I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll save my next Let's Play until after this one is done. But I do want to, um, what's the word? I want to do a let's play of a game that's very story heavy because this game is very gameplay heavy, story light, which I think might have been a bad choice to do as my first let's play because since it's not really story heavy, there's not much of the story that I can talk about. So I have to come up with like improvisation commentary, which is really hard for me to do. And now you're going to die! Well, I was about to say I don't know how I dodged that, but then I got hit by it. Okay, so now that his health is pretty low, I'm going to start doing super missiles. But anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, I probably should have done a, a game that was really heavy on story. This way I could talk about the story a little bit more. And, you know, then my voice acting would really shine. <laughs> and, you know what, I don't really have any issues. I'm not like, um... Some let's players, I like to sort of hype up their LPs, but then not tell anyone what they have in mind. Um, I'm either thinking of doing uh, Star Fox Adventures or Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced. And I don't know if I'm making a huge mistake in telling you guys what my uh, ambitioned projects are, but that's sort of what I have in mind. And obviously I shouldn't be talking so much about... Um, doing another LP while I'm doing this one, because it's going to make it look like I don't enjoy it, which is not the case. I love Metroid Prime, but having all these... <laughs> but uh, having all these reruns because something goes wrong because of my inexperience with uh, recording technology and all that stuff and this whole mess up of shit, uh, I wish I might have done an easier game. This way I could have just... Re well, What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I'm looking for spider ball. That's the word I'm looking for. I guess I should be really talking about more about the game. Ugh, I'm such a dumbass. Ah! But now we got the spider ball. And the spider ball... If you go over here... You can climb up these little rail tracks now. But that's not why I like the spider ball. I like the spider ball because... The design that it makes your morph ball is so addictively amazing. It's just like it's, just, it's like the sphere, sphere, sphere. It's like a sphere, except it just like it sort of goes hollow, but you can still see a barrier of the green. It's just cool, especially when uh, we get a certain upgrade later that makes it look even cooler. And that was really gay. Magnetic rail system track, um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but if you try scanning this before, it won't work until after you get the spider ball, um, and that's how it works. For some reason, you ha you have to have the, the pickup in order to scan it and make it a liable scan. I don't know why they did that, but now that we have the spider ball, we can do that, and what, about, what else am I looking for? Uh, how long has this episode been going on for? 
Holy shit, 25 a minute. That is not good at all. Well, I guess I just sort of leave you guys at a cliffhanger. I'm just going to be going through this place. Right here. This will lead back to Magmore Caverns. Uh, it'll lead to a new area of Magmore Caverns, and then from there, uh, we're going to be going back to the Chozo Ruins! So hopefully this episode um, doesn't mess up like the other one did. And if you've watched this entire 26-minute uh, episode, I commend you. Here's a cookie. Uh, <laughs> make sure that you like and subscribe in order to fight the trolls. And uh, this has been everyone's favorite Rekushi, and I will catch you guys later in Magmore Caverns.